you want to add a MIDI track, simply hit on the empty track. If you want to hit, add an audio track, hit shift and the corresponding empty track. If you want to delete a corresponding clip that you don't want, hit clear and that corresponding clip. I'm going to show how to use the machine jam to control Ableton and the machine software within Ableton using one controller. So first off, machine jam is in MIDI mode, which is going to allow it to control Ableton live. If I want to switch to machine mode, I just simply hit shift and the corresponding uh, headphone button. If I want to switch back to MIDI mode, I hit shift and MIDI. And right now it's in Ableton mode. And so, the top row corresponds with the different scenes within, within Ableton. The bottom row that's labeled A through H corresponds with the different channels within Ableton, the different tracks. So let's trigger the first scene within Ableton. The first two tracks I have loaded in are audio tracks. If I want to stop a particular track from playing, I hit browse in that particular track. If I want to stop a complete scene from playing, I hit shift and browse. Right now you hear the metronome going, which I think corresponds with Ableton. So I hit shift and metro, and that turns off the metronome. This C track corresponds with the drum rack within Ableton that I have loaded in. And if I want to play a drum rack, I go to pad mode. And now I have a drum rack. So let's say I want to play a, a, a drum part in there. I'm going to start my metronome. And I have a one bar count in. Now, right now, Ableton is in overdub mode, so I can still record like some hi hats in there. So I'm gonna hit my note repeat, and I know my hi hat for that drum particular drum rack is on this uh, button. So, and then I can change the the uh, intervals of the note repeat using this knob on the side here. Now if I want to go out of overdub mode, I hit shift and record at the same time. I hit shift first and then hit record. Now let's go to our machine software. So to switch to machine, again we hit shift, MIDI, and now I'm in the machine software. And I can use machine just like I would as a standalone. Go to pad mode. And then I hit record. And this is the within the machine now as a plugin. Now I go out of machine mode and I'm going to select a MIDI instrument and I'm going to load a, let's see. So let's say I want to add a MIDI track into, Ab into Ableton. Right now it's in play mode. To trigger a to arm the track, you hit that particular track, and once you hit record, now 
Now it's in overdub mode. If you want to get out of overdub mode, hit shift, record. Now let's add another clip to record into it. Again, browse, stop that clip from playing. Now on this particular track, I also have a uh, rack loaded into it. So in order to control the rack, I go to control. If I want to control the levels of all the my different tr uh, tracks, I go to level, and that controls the different levels of all the different tracks. If I want to control the sins. I hit auxiliary and then go to that, to, to that particular send and that's going to allow me to control the first send. If I hit it again, it's going to allow me to control the second send. And if I have, you know, uh, three or four sends, I hit, three, uh, it, 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 I hit it again to control the third send and the fourth send if I had four sends. But right now I only have two, so you only see two different sends being controlled at the same time. So that's a quick overview of using the Machine Jam within Ableton to control machine and machine software all in one controller.